making a simple video for people who are interested in a Jeep Grand Cherokee with the Laguna leather package. Now, whether or not you buy an SRT, you might be interested in getting um, upgraded seats. So since they don't really give you good pictures, I figured that uh, I would supplement one of the older videos I made by uh, showing you what the Laguna leather package gives you. So basically, the Laguna leather seats... And I, I really don't know why they keep coming up with these names, because they could have made it simpler. But in any event, 1495 for the upgrade and the door panel. So you get the uh, door panel inserts, and you also get the seats. And that by itself is a $1,500 option. Once everything is said and done, you're pretty much looking at $72,200. My Jeep didn't cost $70,000. Um, because, number one, it didn't have the Laguna seats, despite it had everything else. And um, they were giving uh, discounts. In one of my videos where I purchased it, I think I showed, they were giving, like, incentives and whatever, end of the summer discounts or whatever. But in any event, there is a CD player option, and that's uh, $395. But most people don't use CD players at all anymore. And uh, as you can see... If you want a spare tire, they give you a full-size spare at 150 but you may want to forego the wheel locks because the problem is people steal the wheels off of these things, and I have to lock mine in the garage. Um, and uh, these wheels are like $3,500 a set, the, the um, five-spoke Goliaths. So um, that CD player and the Laguna leather will set you back tw um, close to $2,000. Well, no, no. Yeah, about close to $2,000, I should say. Figure in the tax. Laguna leather insert. This is what it looks like. It feels just like the black inserts in my cars, but uh, it's brown. I personally think that the black on black option works a lot better simply because there are a lot of people who don't like to see non-black leather when people start sweating on it and stinking it up and this, that, and other. So these are the Laguna leather seats. The leather does feel slightly higher in quality than the leather and the, the uh, regular SRTs that come with black. So, yeah, it justifies the price. However, now your interior is half brown, half black. Because all of those uh, carbon fiber appearance inserts, all of those things are dark compared to the uh, leather. In a Mercedes-Benz car, you typically find way more brown or way more red or whatever it is to match the seats up on the top on the uh on the um dash cowl and this is the uh premium leather care guide so basically when you get the laguna upgrade they give you the uh card and they tell you that you got the upgrade and whatnot and then you get the door inserts for the back which is another thing. Most of the people who buy Jeeps, a lot of people buy Jeeps because they feel a car is too small because they have a family and whatever, whether they're buying the SRT version or not. So my problem is, what if I had kids? If I had kids and I had a car seat and the car seat sitting on the seat right here, I would feel, I would feel like I wasted money considering, you know, you always have a baby who might throw up on it. it it's like you'd have to turn around and you tell that little infant, you say, listen, buddy, you can't throw up on the Jeep. You just can't do it. So this is part of the reason why you're probably better off just buying some piece of shit minivan or like a Scion or something just to cart your kids around. And then, then you know, you can get serious later on and, uh, you know, you jump into the Jeep, you go back and forth to work. But the last thing you want is some kid messing up your Jeep or some bitch putting her feet up on the fucking cow. You don't want that either. So... Uh, you know, that, that could be a problem for some people. But it looks pretty good. Whether or not it's worth the $1,500 upgrade is, uh, that's up to you. And you also keep in mind, um, because of the fact that these parts are so modular, if you have a black leather Jeep like I have, if you go online, it is possible to rebuy this entire interior because you know they sell benches online and they also sell uh seats online they also sell the inserts online it is possible to do it i i think it's probably not worth the money but um there you go that's the laguna leather package
just in case you're wondering, because I know I have a lot of you guys in Saudi Arabia watching my videos, and you don't get a chance to see all the packages. So uh, that's the Laguna Leather. It looks good. It feels good. We got heated and ventilated seats for the driver, like you can see the perforations. Looks very nice. And um, ultimately what Chrysler did is they just took extremely good components and they combined them all. And it just so happens that when you take those good components and you uh, combine them, it really does add up to more than the sum of its parts. And the uh, proof of that is in the Chrysler 200 2015 and in the new Dodge Dart, which if you top spec that car, it looks very good and it's worth keeping for a while. I'm just waiting for the Dodge Neon, uh, I'm sorry, the Dodge Dart SRT and the Dodge Journey SRT to complete the circle. But uh, there's my little bit of a review. It's a beautiful car. This one's a white Jeep. But, you know, the thing about a Jeep is no matter what color you get it in, you always wish you had another color because they're such nice colors. So this is a pearlized white Jeep right here. And uh, these wheels, my wheels... It's like you you got to protect these things because I've seen way too many issues with people waking up and their Jeeps have had their wheels stolen by these fucking car thief animals. And uh, you got to protect your car. Cause if you don't, they will get it. And if they don't get it, they, they don't even want the car anymore. They just take the fucking parts, these animals. And then you got to go through insurance. And these, if the wheels are $3,500, you automatically know you're getting your insurance to rise because, you know, I'm paying $220 a month on that damn thing, you know, and, and it's, uh, you got to put this shit in the garage. You can't keep these things out on the street because they will steal it just to get the fucking wheels. It's a shame. It's an absolute shame. But uh, that's, the, that's the truck. Everybody already knows. Everybody already knows what the Jeep's all about. If you're interested in this one, you could get about $4,000 off on it. So instead of $72,000, you could be looking at about uh, around seventy, dollars give, give or take some tax or whatever. But um, that's the Jeep. That's the white Jeep, Laguna leather, and the black appearance wheels. And then over here we have a Dodge Viper. I think Chrysler fucked up with the Dodge Viper. If it was up to me, I would have just used the uh, same engine from the Hellcat. I would have used the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi. And, and I would have also made this fucking car bigger. I can't fit in this fucking car. If I can't fit in it, fuck it. Because as far as I'm concerned, the whole point of an SRT vehicle is to be huge and it's to be fast. It's not to be small and people can't get into shit. I'm not fucking Ralph Giles' size. I'm six foot fucking six. If This thing is huge for no reason at all. Huge for absolutely no reason. If it's going to be this big, then, you know, if, if big guys can't get in it, then what the fuck is the point? And that's the reason why the shit ain't selling. And meanwhile, it's, a, it's over $100,000. So what you got is now a situation where your small car, you you have very difficult to work on parts because a regular Chrysler dealer is not going to be able to work on this car. You have to take it to special dealers to get it fixed. And then on top of that, the C7 is everything this car is except for the exotic look. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't have produced it. I would have kept making Dodge Magnums. And I would have Hellcatted the Charger, which they have a Hellcat Charger coming, and the Hellcat Magnum. Because it really doesn't make sense for your Halo car to be a Dodge Challenger Hellcat. This was supposed to be the Halo car, but they can't even sell these things. This fucking thing right here has been sitting on the lot for like uh, for, for over a year, I think. And then they have a red one that's been sitting there for at least a year. Doesn't make no damn sense. Yeah, and I hope you people... I'm going to tweet this video to you SRT people. You got to get your shit together. Yeah, it, it looks cute and everything, but ultimately all the stuff inside it, I could get in that Jeep. So why would I pay another $40,000 for it? You got to get your shit together, man. The whole point is making it cheaper, bigger, faster. That's an American car. Cheaper, bigger, faster. That's what it's all about. That's what SRT always was about. Cheaper, bigger, faster.